Okay, boys and girls, today we're taking a look at the new, the new or re-released Benchmade Adamus. Now, this is the 2750 or the auto version, and they did previously make this blade, but they have recently, this year, 2021, re-released it in new colorations, new blade steel, new blade finish, and just kind of breathed some new life back into the... 2750 and 275 Adamus line. So today I'm going to be talking about what I think about this and having owned a 275, which is the manual folder version of the Adamus a few years back, I'm going to be th talking to you guys about what I think about the new blade uh, kind of shape and overall if it's worth picking up. So let's jump right into this. So the first one I have to say is that this is a surprisingly addictive little blade. I never handled an original auto uh, Adamus because they just really weren't super available at the time for me, but I do not remember them being so kicky like this, and I have to say I am definitely a fan of how hard this thing fires. I mean, it's hard to exactly convey in a video, but you guys can kind of see the recoil of this thing, and uh, it's definitely a big spring throwing a big blade out the handle really fast. And I find it actually just kind of fun because you got to hold on to this blade and it just jumps out. So uh, that's a lot of fun. But aside from that, I'm definitely a huge fan of the new color G10. Of course, you guys have spent any time around the channel know that I am pretty partial to the kind of peanut butter colors of tan. And I really do love them. I mean, I have a Glock that's in a similar color, truck that's in a similar color, AR-15 that's in a similar color. So I'm definitely partial to the desert tan kind of peanut butter colors and uh, definitely do appreciate the overhaul of tan for their fixed, or sorry, for their folder blades. So, or folding blades, or autos in this case. So aside from that, they also updated the blade, and they gave the blade a true proper Cerakote now, so this has a kind of gunmetal gray Cerakote to it, and of course, the biggest thing is they changed the blade from a D2 tool steel to CPM crew wear. Now, admittedly, this is my only blade in crew wear, and I'm not the hugest uh, user of CPM crew wear, so I'm not like 100% on how exactly it stacks up against everything else, but as far as crew wear goes for this particular blade, I think it was a worthy addition. It seems to be a pretty hard-wearing steel, and in addition to that, it also definitely revitalizes the blade steel from D2 being a pretty hard-wearing, you know, kind of normal tool steel to this powdered metal that's going to definitely have a lot better edge retention, and that's basically what I've seen out of it. Unfortunately, I haven't had any chances to really hard use this blade yet, but bear in mind that I do carry it every day, or most days nowadays, and uh, I definitely look forward to heavy use when it comes. However, it does a perfectly good job at EDC tasks and even light outdoors tasks, uh, such as feather sticking, fire starting, and that's part of the reason why I like this blade as kind of my wilderness folder, because here in Alaska we are allowed to EDC autos, they are perfectly legal. Um, so it's really cool to have an auto, but also to have a tough, hard-wearing auto that you feel like you can baton easily, that it will handle any tasks out in the wild. And uh, I wouldn't say this is a direct substitute for a fixed blade, but if I had to choose something to replace a fixed blade, it would probably be something along the lines of an auto Adamus or a normal Adamus, because my original Adamus I definitely batoned the heck out of and really put hard use on, and uh, it held up just fine. I don't think that the new Adamus would have any issues, so I think it would also do just fine in hard use as well. So CPM Crew Wear seems to be a really good steel, and I'm very happy that they moved forward to a more premium steel, especially because the price of the new Adamuses or the revamped, uh, remastered Adamuses have definitely gone up a little bit, not too crazy actually, because the original Adamuses were about 160 to 170, and I think the new 
regular manual folders are about $200 to $216. The auto adamases are about the same price as the original auto adamases. And of course, autos are just more expensive. This auto adamas was, I think, right around $300. So, you know, autos are just expensive because they're automatic knives. But um, overall, it's a really fantastic blade. And I I don't have too much more to say, but I can definitely say that I do love this blade, and especially as a wilderness folder, I love that it is strong, robust, and it's fast, made of good materials, and I think that what they did to revamp the Auto Adamus, or the Adamus family, has certainly, um, definitely made them a lot better, and they've really breathed some new life into the, uh, Adamus family. Now one that I would like to pick up is a mini Adamus in the same kind of color configurations as this one because I think that a mini Adamus would be pretty badass but uh, we will see about that and they're pretty tricky to find right now so unfortunately I may not be able to get one immediately but the auto Adamus is plenty fun. Uh, if you're looking for one I would say definitely go for it if you can if you're in a state where you can legally carry autos that's probably the biggest thing uh, with this blade in particular not every state allows autos especially autos that you know have a pretty substantial blade length like this but if you can pick one up they're definitely a lot of fun even if you just play with it they're a lot of fun because this thing fires out with so much force it's it's a ton of fun to just play around with so anyways guys Hopefully you enjoyed taking a look at this 2750 Auto Adamus. They are pretty fantastic, pretty stellar blades. Definitely would encourage taking a look at one. And I think that they they have definitely breathed some new life into the old classic Adamus. Anyways, guys, that's all for now. God bless, and I'm out.